Okay, guys, I'm back. A little change of plans because I want to do this one first. Uh, I still had a lot of paint from last weekend. A lot. And uh, I covered it with sort of a cling wrap thing. And what I do is I, uh, with a little mister bottle, I mist uh, the top of the paint and then put the cling wrap on it. And then uh, you can keep it for a week. No problem whatsoever. Of course, you have to uh, check for the uh, the thickness of the paint before you use it. So um, that's what I did. Add a little water and then stirred it and then, you know, just made sure it was the right thickness. But you can keep paint a long, long time. Uh, I have some in bottles and then big bottles for the colors I use a lot, the like the turquoise and the white and the, the beige. So um, that's something that you can do if you want to do that. It saves you a lot of time when you want to pour. And in the beginning, I really enjoyed the, uh, the paint mixing. I still do, but sometimes I just want to get in the studio and get pouring. So then uh, when you have uh, mixed paint, that will work perfectly. Don't waste time, just get pouring. So uh, what I'm doing is giving uh, this little canvas a, a base color. And I'm doing that because I'm going to do a liquid pour over it. Uh, but I have a lot of silicone in my paints in every single color. And I don't want a repeat of the previous video where I have to come back in and fix all those um, craters from the uh, silicone. Now, um, a lot of people ask me, you know, the best paint to do this stuff. Um, the thing is that a lot of people use a very, very cheap paint. And if you were to calculate what you're saving on a painting, it's next to nothing. I know it's nice to go to the shop and, and get all the colors they have. But if uh, you ask me, I would uh, certainly go for a really nice series of colors that I could pour with and then I just every week I'd add a color or something like that but I would absolutely use uh, good good paint this is good paint this is uh, better than uh, the Royal Talons which I always used in the beginning this has less um, sort of plaster of Paris stuff in it because when you do this with Royal Talons it dries up all chalky like and that's uh, a sign of additives that make the paint cheaper and, and this stuff doesn't have that so this will uh, this will just very nicely dry and they make sure that when it's wet it has the same color as when it's dry that's sort of for beginners it's very important so I have the same paint in here not very thin though because I want to do something with my airbrush and then have some really bright colors and I'm hoping it's not going to turn to gray slush but you never know but if it does you'll see it here <laughs> because you know guys you got to keep it real um, every single thing I do on video there's no rehearsing or stuff like that you might have uh, uh, locked onto that because uh, I just you know turn on the video and we go video everything I do and then when it doesn't work out, you'll know that it doesn't work out. And like that's, uh, you know, interesting information for you guys. If you don't want to waste paint, that is. So uh, this one, I'm going to make it just a little thinner. I'm using my squirty bottle. Um, if you want one of those and you can't find them online, you have to look for laboratorium squeeze bottle. That's it. Then you'll get them. Now, this is kind of thin, but not really, really thin. And I don't want to use it all because it's too much for uh, my canvas. So I'm going to put some in a new cup. And that's about it, I think. That's all I need. Because we've got the background space. So um, even if we weren't to cover the whole canvas, um, the black would 
sort of, you know, just merge into the uh, pour. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm always telling you guys stuff. And then it just might not work. We'll see. Okay. Here we go. So, we got the black. We have our colors. I think I'll do a little flip cup. That might be a... nice and small one so we're going to add a lot of the black and i'm going to be adding the colors i'm going to put them smack in the middle and i'm using all the bright colors so we got the green we got the yellow we got the orange then we have a turquoise color and i'm going to use the Naples yellow with titanium white then a little bit more blue because I like blue and then we're gonna finish it off with black now that's a lot of paint I think that'll work there it is so we're gonna do this like this because it's easier look at those nice colors Okay, now we're going to pick it up. Sorry about that noise. I know some people really hate that noise. Now it's not looking like much. Ooh, that one's empty. Okay. Ooh, 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 that's pretty. That is really pretty. Those are some beautiful cells. Look, they're even in the, in the lines that I poured it. And now to stretch them, but to keep them a little bit round would be really nice. So that's going to go off there because I don't like that. And then we want it to come back. Oh, and I see a little goober there. We have to take care of that. Look at that. That is pretty. I'm going to make that move over here. Helping it a little bit down there. Not too much because we want to keep the cells on the side. But I know a lot of people have trouble with um, uh, tilting because then all the uh, cells sort of go really long. Now if you see this here, you'll see that uh, most of it is still nice and round. And that is because we don't tilt it w one, one way altogether. We just sort of let it go that way and then the, the top way and then the bottom. And that's how we keep them pretty much, you know, uh, round, uh, you know, a nice form. So now I really want it to go over here, though. But I'm going to lose a lot of that white, but that's okay. A little bit down here in the corner. I think it's nice. Now, I why I painted the background, see guys, this is what happens. So you have this plan in your head. You're thinking, okay, we're going to pour that, and then we're going to see a lot of background. But lo and behold, we have a totally different outcome. I just want the corner here to uh, to fit the painting. That was too much black for me. Okay. <laughs> And I was going to put paper underneath so that I could keep on pouring on this for a while, but I'll just have to clean it off. Okay, guys, this is it. I'm going to give you a close-up. Just have to clean off my hands a bit. Okay. 
So from up there, you can't really see the uh, the lines in between the blue, but they are there. I'll show it to you. Let me pick it up really closely and let me get you in focus. See all the lines? That's kind of pretty. Okay, so uh, I'll put this one away, let it dry, clean up a bit, and I'll be right back with you guys. So, love you all to pieces. Later.